Oh my God, please hurry. I think my, dead, my friend is dead. It is now up to a jury to decide the fate of the man accused of murdering a former El Paso radio DJ. Who murdered former El Paso radio DJ Rick Madrigal will spend decades in prison. Listen to this. 50 years and no fine. Four years later, that would change. The expert witness said it would have been physically impossible for Hernandez to have been the shooter. A new trial coming soon for the El Paso man convicted of shooting and killing a former local radio DJ six years ago. A jury found Lionel Hernandez guilty of murder in the 2016 slaying of former El Paso DJ Richard Madrigal. Madrigal, under the name Rick Mardi Gras, had been an honor personality for El Paso Rock Station Radio 95.5 FM KLAQ. Hernandez stood with his lawyers at his side as the guilty verdict was read, showing no emotion in the packed courtroom Wednesday morning. Though the verdict would be overturned, this interrogation would play a crucial role in the state's prosecution. Here is the interrogation. Like I told you, I don't know if you remember, my name is David Camacho. I'm a detective at the Paso Police Department. Okay, okay. And a notebook here is just so I can take accurate notes, and that okay. way I don't forget stuff. And it's, if it's something important, I'll write it down. Okay. okay. But I'll wait for my partner, that way he can introduce himself as well. Okay. That's cool. While the interrogators introduce themselves and get identification from the suspect, I will give you more background information. Please skip to the time scamp present on the screen if you would like to skip to the interrogation. So, according to Fox, regarding the guilty verdict, jurors found Lino Hernandez guilty of murdering the radio DJ. Next, the jury sentenced Hernandez to 50 years in prison. Hernandez and his attorneys showed disappointment at the verdict, but remained calm. Family and friends of Madrigal, the victim, celebrated emotionally when the verdict was announced. Next, a sentence hearing was held after a recess. Closing arguments in the murder trial for Hernandez then began. During evidence and testimonies, the theory of a third-party shooter was presented to the jury. The state, however, said the evidence isn't concrete since the man who testified did not visit the crime scene or do calculations. The defense argued that Miranda Palacios, who was granted immunity after leaving the scene of the crime in return for her testimony, was the one who shot Madrigal and alleged she had been manipulating the case. The defense said Palacios' story had changed and text messages between Madrigal and Alexis Dominguez indicate Palacios was, quote, bad news. The defense highlighted Palacios' suspicious behavior through photos and text messages. One specific text message was sent from Palacios read, quote, something terrible happened yesterday, girl. I think we killed Leo Rick, close quote. Additionally, the defense says Palacios changed her testimony, giving more details after being offered immunity. State attorneys said that Palacios was not the one who killed Madrigal and that evidence point to Hernandez. Regarding the overturning of the conviction, this evidence would play a crucial role. Now, the interrogation begins. All right, we're here. We're talking about case 161641. Notice the suspect's highly defensive body language. One, four. Okay. Before I go on, we have to do this with everybody that we speak to. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'll be reading you um, some items. Let me know if you have a question on them, okay? The suspect has read his rights. You were born here in El Paso, or read those when you mix them. Okay. How long have you been here in El Paso? My whole life. <laughs> so you were born in Redos when come back? Yeah, like 30 years. 30, 29 years. The suspect's act of rubbing his face indicates that he is highly anxious and stressed. Where'd you go to school at? The interrogators acquire about his work history before asking this crucial question. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. What's, what's your girlfriend's name? It's Marinda. Velasquez. The suspect's girlfriend, Marinda, would play a crucial role in this case and investigation. Marinda Palacios. Palacios. How did you meet her? There at the apartments. There at the apartments? Oh. At, the at the pool? Yeah. What are... What are does she live there? She was visiting somebody there. No, she lives there. What apartment does she live Notice the suspect's nervous hand movements. Uh, I don't know the number. She recently moved. Oh. But I've never been to her apartment. I like, can never. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can find out what it is. Like, what does she live there with? Um, well, when I met her, like, she was living by herself with her, I mean, with her son and daughter. I will fast forward through unnecessary conversation. Like. 
the purpose of this conversation is likely to establish a baseline. It's, you don't get along with deep talk? So on Saturday, you pick her up where? Saturday is the date of the murder. Uh, some apartments, she was with a friend and then um, I was gonna head back to my apartment and she's like, I don't wanna go to her apartment because I guess because her husband is always stalking her. Oh, okay. So what I did, we went to a hotel. We had a few, uh, at the Hyatt, by Bassett. I had a few drinks in there and we just spent the night there. And I took her home today. Just you and her? Yeah. Okay. So now this rewind for Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This rewind Saturday. So Saturday, before you take her to Coronado to pay the debt for ISIS, right? Mm -hmm. um, where where apartments did you pick her up by? Uh, some apartments by uh, Executive and this one. Okay. Like, I don't know the, the name. Right? What do they look like? <laughs> They're not too decent looking. <laughs> okay. So you pick her up there, and well, how do you know where to pick her up? Do you, does she tell you to go to a certain building, a certain spot? Where? Yeah, at uh, her friend's uh, apartment. What's her friend's name? Uh, Rick. I just know him by Rick. Okay. So Rick's apartment, mm -hmm. and you know how to get there. I know what apartment he lives in, but I, like, I drove and I saw him walking towards the, her and, and um, Rick. Okay. Towards the apartment. Okay. Uh, and then she grabbed her stuff and then we took off. Okay. So you saw her and Rick walking towards his apartment? Yeah. Okay. I guess they were coming from the pool. They, okay. She had a bathing suit. Children. And then you waited in the truck? Mm -hmm. or you, you drive a truck, no. a car? Or well, I got off, but I was like out there, outside, just waiting for her to get her clothes. Okay. Do you say hi to them? Do they say hi to yeah. you? What happens? I took hands with Rick and Rick. Okay. And then you wait outside the apartment? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what, what do you drive? Do you drive a truck, a car, a van? It's what a you? GMC server. Okay. What year is it? 2016. What color is it? Blue. Extended cab or single cab? Crew cab. Okay. So on Saturday, about what time is this? Um, I can't remember. Because I, I, all I know is we got to the hotel like around 9.30. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming okay. like a something so you must have picked around eight something mm -hmm. and on Saturday you take her to Coronado about 8 p.m. to pay Isis's debt no it's um, Friday well this is Friday okay so Friday you pick and, her up and it's not at 8 p.m. it's it was before 4 because they were going to close at 4 Okay. So I took her like around three, three something. Okay, so now I'm confused again. So let's clear it up. And that's on Friday, that way I don't mess it up. Okay. Friday, I took her to Coronado High School mm -hmm. at three something, okay. close to four, because she needed to pay some debt. Okay. And we had lunch, and then I took her home. To South Mesa? Her, Mesa. yeah. Her okay. Apartment. Yeah. And that was, that was the last time you saw her on Friday? Yeah, okay. that was the last time. Saturday? Friday, we didn't go out or anything. That was what you, you take her to lunch, she pay Isis's debt at Coronado, mm -hmm. right? And then you drive her basically to your apartments too because you guys live in yeah, the same ones, right? The same ones. And then you don't see her again Friday. No. Saturday, she calls you uh -huh. and tells you, can you pick me up? Mm -hmm. And then you've been to those apartments before or you've never been there before? I was there uh, one time. I could, it was my second time that visit. This was your second time? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now... <coughs> when you get there, <coughs> that's just excuse me. Thank you. When, so when you get there, you see her friend Rick, and your girlfriend's name is what? Marinda. Marinda. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Marinda. So Mar you see Rick and Marinda walking to Rick's apartment. Is it an upstairs or downstairs apartment? <coughs> it's a downstairs. It's a downstairs apartment. Okay. 
So you see them walking? You get off your truck because you're in your GMC truck? Yeah. Okay. And now, you know, she goes. I, I said hi to him. Oh, I told my girlfriend to. Okay. And then that's when she's like, I'm going to get my clothes. That's pretty much it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you you don't go inside the apartment. You wait right there by the door? Oh, it's like, yeah, standing in the door. What well, kind of walked in a little bit, but like, with the door open. But not to the kitchen, not to the living room, no. nothing, just two no, steps like, in? because he offered me something to drink, but I didn't, I didn't want anything. Okay. Yeah. So then you and, my, and, you and uh, Marinda, right? You guys get in the car, and where do you guys go again? To the Hyatt. Okay. Hotel by Bassett. Okay. Have mm -hmm. a couple of drinks there? Yeah. We had some beers, and we spend the night there. Okay. And then I brought her this morning. No, it's not morning because it was like two. <coughs> she had the graduation at three. Okay. So she had the graduation today at three p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you so you guys wake we, up and then we, what we time? get there at uh, the apartments at two, close to three. You guys were asleep the whole time at the high end. Yeah. Okay. We just hang around there. So you guys don't leave. You guys are in the room the whole time. Mm -hmm. What time is checkout time there? Uh, 12. 12. So you guys stay past 12 a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Okay. And then you drive her where? To the apartments. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because she has to go to? The graduation. Okay. And then what happens there? And that's when the other cops went to my apartment. I was taking a shower and I, I couldn't get to the door. I just saw him leaving. And then um, I was going to go to my parents and another cop. <coughs> Got to me at the lights right there at Sunday Park and um, the shopping center right there. And he told me just to go to the mall and park there. Like he wanted to ask me some questions. Okay. And then what did he ask you? Uh, he asked me basically uh, like if I've seen Marinda, do I know where she is, is she okay? And I told her, I told him, yes, like I just dropped her off right now. And you know that cop? Mm, well, he lives in the Escolinas, he mentioned that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like so he, he lives, lives where you live at? Yeah, he okay. lives there. And then another cop got there, I guess, like 10 or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he asked you the same thing? Yeah. Just, they, all they asked you was Marinda's whereabouts, mm -hmm. like, to see if you knew where she was at. Right now, what did you tell him? I did kind of lie to him. I just told him, you know what, we were, like, I picked her up to go shopping. That's what I said. Okay. Because I didn't know, like, I was, like, why are they asking me this? Right. Like, I just dropped her off. Like, why? <laughs> right. If I was confused, I didn't know what. And, um, I'm also, like, trying not to get involved with her husband. Okay. I guess he was the one that called or something. Okay. That's what he mentioned, something like that. Okay. And his husband was... made the call and... and kind of like mentioned something about kidnapping, that, that she was being kidnapped, but... And I'm like, what? <laughs> I just dropped her off. I like, no. Right. Yeah. But even though you knew that you had kind of dropped her off, you lied to the cops and just told her that you were just shopping with her? Yeah. I don't know why, I just, like, I was, like, in shock. Like, <laughs> they said that you were kidnapping? I, is that, is that what? I guess they're assuming that you, I'm involved with that, because oh. I'm like, no, like, I just dropped her off. Okay. That's no. something the, I guess the husband mentioned. Mm. That she was, I don't know, I guess she called him or and made all this drama like, right. that she was somewhere or something like that. She couldn't explain, something like that. Right. And you didn't kidnap her, did you? Oh, no. no. Okay. That's... No, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're... He has a boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, right? we're grown up to that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> did you try calling her or texting her after you, you had lied to the cops for her? Yeah, I told her. What did you tell her? I texted her, like, like cops are looking for you. 
I told them we went to Fox and Zephyrah. That's what I texted her. Okay. And then what she texted me? She replied. The cops were there with her, I guess, already. Okay. I heard on the... Did you go to Fox and Zephyrah or no? No. 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 I didn't. Do you own any guns? I do own some guns, yes. What which ones do you own? Um, I had a, um, actually lost them in a pawn shop, <laughs> but I had a XD and a Springfield, okay. it's a 9, um, I have a, um, I had a Glock, it was a 380, I had a Smith & Wesson, a 380, um, a Taurus 9, and like two rifles, small rifles. I just like collecting guns. Are those you found? Uh, I actually lost like three guns. <laughs> yeah. Which ones did you lose? Yeah. That because you have the Springfield Glock, Smith and Wesson. It was the Taurus. Springfield, the Glock, and a Taurus. So you still have the Smith and Wesson 380? And that one, I I recently sold it. What would you sell it to? It was this older man at a pawn shop. I had pawned it. I actually have the, the receipt. I pawned it, and then when I went out to pawn shop, like he, he, I guess he saw me. He stopped you outside. Yeah, he's like, like, would you be interested in selling your gun? And he saw me like elderly already. Like, yeah, like, how much would you give me? And he's like, I don't know how much they are. Can you? But I like the size of your gun. Like, it's, it's not, it's a neat gun. So yeah, I, 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 he gave me 350 for it. How long ago was that? Mm, like three, I want to say like three weeks ago. So that's nothing less than you pawned it, you go take it out. Mm -hmm. As you're walking out the door of the pawn shop, the guy stops you and says, hey, do you want to sell it? Yeah, he that? stopped me at the parking lot. Okay. Like I backed out and then I was going to drive off and he stopped me. Okay. Do you remember his name? Mm, no. I think like... No, he had a weird name. Okay. He had like a, a veteran cap. You know those? Right. That's what pawn shop was this? It was, um, I think it's called Cash America by Artcraft and Night Okay. So now these guns you found in 2015? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the only firearms I have right now is the rifles. It's a 17 HMR and a 22. That's pretty much it. No handguns? Oh, no. I lost my other one. <laughs> I sold it. Okay. Alright. Right now it is do you need some more water? No, I'm okay. Alright. Right now it is nine fifty five, okay? I'm gonna take a quick break. See if the coffee started. Um you don't need no more water? No, I'm okay. Yeah. I'll be right back with okay. okay. You sure you don't want some more water? No, I'm good. Alright, sorry. That coffee didn't make, man. I pressed the wrong button and it, yeah. yeah, sorry about that. They're cleaning it up. Once it makes, I'll hook you up. Okay. Right now it is 10.20 p.m. Okay. What did you say your telephone number was? 740 Seven four zero three six six eight, and that's with Verizon, right? Mm -hmm. And is it under your name? Uh, yeah. Is that the only line you have under your name? No, I don't have any lines. Who has all the other lines? Uh, well, it's my dad's line and my sister's line. 
Okay, but they're not under his name, right? They're under yours? They're under mine, yeah. Okay. Do you know why you're here? Just by what the cop told me in the morning, something involving Marinda and her husband. That he called for something about kidnapping. That that's that's all I know about that. Do you think Marinda's okay? I hope she is. I mean, you haven't talked to her. Anything? She hasn't responded. Well, I'm pretty sure that well, she hasn't responded to my text. What have you been texting her? The just the what I told the cops, and that's it. Well, okay, that like was the last time you text her. Yeah, like, it's no response. Okay. What we're investigating here is a homicide. A homicide? A homicide, yes. With, uh, the why, like, what happened, like, what, like, what kind of homicide, <laughs> like, well, with who or what? Uh, I'm asking you, who, who, do you, who do you think we're here investigating? I don't know. Like, or like, where's Marina? Okay. Well, go ahead. No, like, what's going on? Like, did she do anything or...? Why would, why would you say that? I'm, no, I don't know, because it's just been weird the way they arrived at me. Like, how they got to me, like, and asked me questions about her. That's why I'm asking, like, why... What's going on? Okay. Now, like I told you, I, we are investigating the homicide. Okay? Okay. And from what I'm gathering, yeah. okay, is that you need to be really honest with me and you need to be really truthful mm -hmm. with me. Yes. Okay? Alright? Because from what we're gathering is you're involved. I'm involved. Yes. And that's what I need to make sure that if you are, you are. If you're not, you're not. Okay? Okay. But you look like you look like a person that you've been you've been telling me the truth so far. I'm open to anything you okay. want to know. Like, uh, okay. If I can help. Now you were telling me that you went to go pick up Marinda at Rick's apartment. Yeah. Did she call you or did you call her? I like I asked her, where are, what are you doing? Okay. She, like, my ex. And I even asked her, can I go over? Okay. And she's like, and then she called me, like, yeah, come over. Okay. And then, like, we didn't even stay there for long, and we decided to leave. Okay. Tell yeah. us what happened. Then. Tell, tell me what happened. Tell us what happened at the apartment. At the apartment? Yeah. You went inside, and what happened inside? I went inside and, and Marinda was getting her stuff ready. I was talking to Rick. I he mentioned something that someone's in the no, no. Tell us what happened inside that part. Between you and Rick. Between me and Rick? Yeah. We were just having a conversation. That's what happened. No? <laughs> okay, what else? Um, conversation about what? Um like he's, he offered me a drink, I said no, and I, I told him that uh, Marinda had other plans, she wanted to leave, that's what I told him. And then um, he mentioned something about someone was going like, to stop by and drop off um, some weed, that's what he said. Okay, that? Like, yeah, I'm just going to chill here. Some, I'm supposed to get some weed right now. That's all we talked about. I was just like saying, like, dude, you're, just, you're still doing that stuff. <laughs> like, we were just laughing. And then that's when Marina came out and that we just took off. That's... No, no, no. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Yes. Okay. You're here for a reason. Okay. okay. We're not here trying to guess what... what you know what's going on. We're not trying to figure out if you, if you, what you did, what you didn't do. We already know. Uh, once you're here, bro, it's because we already talked to several people. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've done we've done our homework already. Mm -hmm. And and just so you know, everybody else is already here. Miranda's here. Her husband's here. 
Mm -hmm. Her friends here. Okay. So once you once you're here, I mean, it, it's for a reason. I mean, it's not just because I didn't see what he says. No, no. We, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. And we want to hear the reason from you what why it happened. Okay. We don't want to guess. We don't want to take everybody else's word. For what why why they think it happened. We want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to hear the reason from you. Like what reason? Of the reason of what happened last night. Oh. Is Rick the person that's... Exactly. Um, I, I don't know, I just have no words. Like, I, I'm being honest, like, why? No, you're not being honest. I'm not... You need to why, why, like, why do you think it's me? Like, why? Just because I have... What do you mean? Why do you think like, Because I have firearms under my name? <coughs> no. You're the only, only one there. We've got text messages. We've got Miranda telling us what happened. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for her to say what happened and make anything up. There's no reason. Why did it happen? We want to hear from you what happened. I mean... I'm telling you, it's why. Like, why are you thinking I did that? Why? Why? Like, who else would do that? I don't know. That's why. I asking. don't know. That's why we're asking you. Why? Why did it happen? I mean, there's like, got to be a reason. We, we were there, but we know you. You're not a cold-blooded killer. I know that. I know something happened. We all we're human. We're all human. We all do things that sometimes we regret. And I, and I know you don't look like a killer. You you're not a bad I'm person. Not, you're not. I know you're not. I'm not a killer. I know, I, I can tell, but but there's a reason, I mean, there's a reason, everybody has a reason for, for things that happen, I mean, that's what we want to hear, we want to hear the reason. That's it. What happened? I know you didn't go over there thinking, oh, I'm going to do this tonight, no. something happened, I mean, what, what happened? I, for sure, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that, like, I didn't, you know, whatever happened, I I didn't do anything. What happened? Tell me what happened. We, like he's a person that's that's killed, was killed, or. I know things happen all the time. Like okay. it's but things happen for a reason. Okay. We we're, we're. I don't know. I know there's a reason. There's an explanation, and that's what we want to know. I know it, it. It. I know it wasn't as bad as people say it is. Okay, but we, we need to hear the explanation from you. There's got to be an explanation. There's a reason. There's I know, and you're the only one that knows the reason. Uh, she told us the reason, but I don't believe it. I want to hear it from you. What? I mean, there's no reason. There's no... You're here. I mean, this, this, is, this is why you're here. We didn't just pull you out of a hat. Your name out of a hat. Uh, what happened? Like, we had nothing to do with me and Rick. Something happened. What, what, what is it that happened? I, I can't tell you what happened because I don't have anything against him. Or it was my second time I met him. Okay. Like I... I wow. Something like I... Something? I would never do that. Something with... You know, we all say that. We all say that, and and things things happen sometimes that we you know, it's out of our control for whatever reason. Uh, but then we regret it. Now I know I know you're not a bad person. I know. I, I mean, do you regret it or not? That's gonna mean a, that means a lot. If you if you're sorry for what happened, then that means a lot. If you're not sorry, well, then that's something different. How can I be sorry about something that I I didn't do? Oh, you've been working here too long. You've been here a long time. Look, not, I mean, it's not, I know he didn't, for some reason he kind of felt jealous about me. Okay. Like, I remember the first time I met him, like, he was a little jealous. But that's pretty much it I know, that I know about him, against me, for that. That's the only thing. So what happened? Uh, I don't know what.
Can I tell you like nothing? Well, we know something happened. Because he's dead now. Okay. We know something it's... happened. He's dead now. You the only one there. You and and you know, not. Did she lie to us? Did she, did she shoot him? Did she kill him? I don't know. I don't know if she has any weapons. You were there? Not that you I were there. No, of course. So look, tell me what like happened. I, I can't tell you what happened. Like it, there's nothing I can like know. You want me to make up a story? <laughs> no, I want you no. to tell me what happened. I have nothing to tell you. I'm being honest, I have nothing to tell you. Okay, because you tell me that you went over there to pick her up. Uh -huh. Okay? And then you tell me, well, I text her, what are you doing, and can I go hang out? Mm -hmm. Okay? So you go from, can I go hang out, and then, hey, she has other plans and we're leaving? How did that happen? And why did it happen? Because she saw how Rick re reacted. Like that. And he was... Like, he said hi to me, but like, she didn't want, I guess, to have me there. How did he react? Uh, kind of, I guess I jealous. Okay. That I got there. Like, so, did he tell you anything? Did he hit you? Did he push you? What did he say? No, he didn't say anything. He was just being, you know, like, very sarcastic. That's it. Okay. Did it make you upset? No. I just I was just there like waiting for Marina to get ready. But you were there I, to hang out. Yeah, but we ended up she wanted to leave. That's why. When happened. did she tell you that? When we when I got there. He's like, I'm gonna get my stuff so we can get so we can get going. Okay. Yeah. And then what happened? That's I don't know what happened. Like I can't. Well, now, well, now you're admitting that like, something he, happened because he got he, he got upset. Okay, that's that's a that's a start. Yeah, okay. I, he got upset, but I it's, like I didn't something really I didn't really care about it. What did he say? What did he do? With that the outcome was what happened. He didn't say much. He was just being like very sarcastic. Like, like he didn't wanna. Like I would ask him something and yeah. give me an example. Um for example, um like I asked him about um like like what were they doing and she's like over oh, at the pool. We you, you got here man, and, like we had to come back and, like he was being like that, you know. Mm -hmm. like, acting jealous I'm like, Oh that's cool. That's pretty much one of the things we said. And then what happened? We left. Me and Marinda left. We went to the hotel. Before you left, what happened? I, that's pretty much it. We like we didn't have no confrontation, no nothing. We didn't have anything. Like, you mean like, um, me saying something bad to him and him responding back no nothing. No arguments, no nothing. People heard, okay? People heard and then they heard you guys leaving. They saw well they actually saw you guys leaving. Okay, mm -hmm. so something happened while you were in that apartment. Okay? What do you mean now? I'm telling you that, I'm telling you that's what that's what that's what people are telling us. Mm -hmm. That we brought that we brought here to the office. I told you, man, we already talked to everybody. You're the last person we can talk to. Don't let somebody else tell your story. Don't let somebody else tell your story. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm telling my story. Okay. You're missing something there. What was it? What happened? Like, what? <laughs> what do you want to hear? The truth. The truth. That's, I'm telling you the truth. No. no. I'm sorry, no. I can't. That's, I'm sorry. Sorry, I guess. 
How much do you care about Marina? I care about her. A lot? Yeah. How much do you think she cares about you? Uh, I don't know. How much would you guess? A lot? She's, a little bit? I, she cares about me, but she has issues going on. So I kind of don't expect, you know, 100%. Like, I understand what she's going through. Do you get jealous about that? About what? About her not being here 100% with you? Um, no, not really. Do you think she cares enough about you to cover for you? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Do you think it's been like, so it's been like a year knowing her, like, not very, like, it's not like I'm with her, like, every day, you know? Do you care enough about her to cover for her? No, no, I would never cover for her. Do you think she would cover for you? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, no, she doesn't. No. no. Of course not. Not for something like this. No, she... You mean would you? No. No, but no. I would never cover for someone, no. I mean, when it's something this serious, she came out and said the truth. Definitely, I would never. You know? And that's why you need to say the truth about what happened. I mean, if, if we read the report, <coughs> the way people are telling us, she's telling us and, and the people that hurt, and it doesn't look good for you. Okay, it doesn't. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Then we need to hear from you of what happened what, so that we can edge it in there. What, uh... I mean, this is very important today, you know. This is probably the most important day in your life right now. It's going to determine a lot. I mean, very important. And I already talked to your mom and I told her what's going on. Uh -huh. She's upset, but <clears throat> she says you're a good boy. You're a good son. Mm -hmm. And I believe her. I mean, you look like a good good boy. I mean, like I told you, man, it, this, this stuff happens all the time. This is not the first time it's happened. And that's not going to be the last time it happens. It happens to good people. Man. It happens to bad people. It happens to good people. It happens to everybody. We're all human. We all have feelings. Mm -hmm. And we all make mistakes. But it's what we do after we, we make that mistake. Tell me what happened. Well, he actually threatened me. Okay. What did he tell you? He threatened me to... I don't know if she heard it or not, but she, he threatened me to do something to kill me. Okay. Because he was upset. He was upset because I was there. Really? And then what happened? He was arguing with her. She kept calling him. Don't do it, like, don't do it. I mean, no, I need, I need to punch something. And, like, he, I heard, I, he threatened me to do something to me. Okay. And he said, I'm fucking kill this motherfucker. And, like, and that's when I got like, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I didn't know what he was going to pull on me. Right. <clears throat> and when I was in there, like, he ran towards me. And that's what happened. Like, what happened? Like, I, I just took two shots. Like, What happened when you took two shots? He just fell on the ground. And then? That's it. What happened next? He took off. That's it. Did you go through the apartment or anything like that? No, I didn't go through the apartment. He just took off. She grabbed her stuff. We took off. Where's the gun? <coughs> Uh, I disposed of it. <laughs> Where? In the desert. Where? We need, we need to find them because if somebody else, if somebody picks it up, a kid picks it up and gets injured, that's two people getting injured. Well, it's like and, and nobody deserves that. I mean, if somebody goes out with a kid and the kid grabs it or something and something happens, that's not going to be good. So we need to go find it.
Like, I don't know the exact location. I don't know how to tell you the location. How did you get there? Montana, Joe Battle, in the west side, where? Senator. Senator is left. Okay. What kind of gun was it? That's uh, Smith and Wesson. Was it the gun that you told me that you sold to the veteran? Yeah. Was that a lie? Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you for being honest. Okay. Where's Where's the ammo that you had for that gun? I only had like uh, just uh, the the um, one um, magazine. Yeah, one magazine. That's um, all I had. And you, you got rid of the magazine and the ammo. I only had like two shots. That's so yeah, I got rid of the ammo. Where? I just threw it in the desert. Okay. But what what is that thing that the kids call the wall or something like that? In the in the in the desert? Mm -hmm. Is that where you got rid of it? Or is that close to it or where? Close to it. Okay. So if I Google map it, you can give me a road to where the gun is at? Mm -hmm. More or less? Because a kid can go off roading there. And yeah, he can get hurt with it. Can, 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 after we get done, can you take us over? We'll take you in the car and we'll go look for it. To the desert? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's very important. <clears throat> so now, you're in the apartment, okay? You take two shots. Do you know where, do you know where, where the two shots went? Um, I think it was the head. Okay, the head. Okay, and then? That's, so the Smith & Wesson is a semi-automatic gun, right? Mm -hmm. So that means when I fire, there's casings that come out, mm -hmm. right? Where are those? Uh, I throw them away. So you pick them up? Yes. Okay. I just throw them away. Where did you throw them away at? On um, our way to the town. Like, I don't remember exactly where, but I just... In a dumpster? No, just on the road. Okay. Were you on the freeway? Were you on the gateway? Were you... It was on the freeway. Okay. And that gun is under your name? Yeah. Okay. Where was Marinda when this was happening? Happen what happened when? When you take the two shots, where is she at? Where was she standing? In the apartment? Yeah. Well, to, to your right side, there. <coughs> Next to or behind, like on the corner of a brick. Because he like threw her and he ran towards me. That's what happened. What did she say? In the, what did she say? She didn't. She was like, Did you like really have to do that? I'm like, well, look at him like he was going to attack me. Like, I don't know what he was going to pull on me, like... And then? And then she's like, we need to be... We just left. Did, 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 <coughs> did you clean anything? And the her? Did I clean anything? Or did she clean anything? Either mm -hmm. one of you? I don't know if she cleaned. No. Do I didn't. No. I just got my the casings of the bullets and that's it. Where did you have the gun when you were in the apartment? In your pocket or? Where, where, where did you have it? I was in my pocket. In your back pocket or your front? On my back. How big a gun is it? <coughs> that thing. Does it have a safety or? Yeah. Yeah? And you always carry it with you? In my truck. But you were not in your truck, right? Mm, at the apartment? Yeah. Yeah, the GMC. The GMC? Yeah. So you carry it in your truck, mm -hmm. and you decided to put it in your back pocket when you're going into Rick's apartment? When he threatened me. Oh, okay. So when, the, when he's threatening, you go to your truck to get it? Yeah. Okay. So he threatened? I was going to go get my email. Like, I was going to get her like, immediately, and that's when he like, Ran towards me. Right. That's what I'm not understanding, and I want it to be clear. Okay? You're, you said you are about two feet at the door. 
Right. Mm -hmm. So you're already in his apartment. No gun on you. Right? No gun. No gun. gun is I, I heard that he was saying stuff he was going to do to me. Right, right. And I'm like, I don't know what he's going to do to me. I go grab my gun just in case. Because I'm going to come back from Marinda. Right. I don't, I don't know what to expect when I walked into that door. Okay. And that's when he like ran towards me and I like, Right. Because I didn't, I didn't know what he was going to do. Okay. So, there was already an argument between you guys, and you walk to your truck, and then you come back to get Martin, to get Marinda, because mm -hmm. she's still in the apartment getting her stuff, mm -hmm. right? And she's, she's like, like she was um, arguing with him about, and that's when I heard about telling something about me. So that's why you had your gun. Now be honest with me, okay? When you grabbed your gun from the truck, did you already have it in your hand? Like when you... When you grab it from your truck and you walk into his apartment, did you already have it in your hand? Like walking towards? Yes. Oh. No. It's in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's when you take the two shots. Yeah. And the box of ammo that comes with that is all gone? Because it comes in boxes of 25, 50, and 100. Yeah, because I usually would practice. Um, I, I didn't have any more ammo for that. Okay. So whatever was in the gun and whatever you fired is the rest of that box. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. No. Okay. In your apartment, there's not going to be any more ammo. Uh, no. No, I don't think I have any more. I have other ammo for now, not the three. Okay. So you shoot him, you pick up the casings, and you guys go. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys go? Did you tell me the truth about that? Yeah, the Hyatt. Okay. And then you guys spend the night there? Mm -hmm. Did you guys talk about it? Um, yeah, kind of. Is she involved? Did she tell you, did she tell you do, let's do this? She was like... Like, what are we going to do? Like, I'm, I'm with you. Like, what, what are we doing? But I guess... I'm not. <laughs> so she didn't put you up to this? Okay. Beforehand. Beforehand. She didn't say, hey, let's do this. Or can you do this for me? No. No? This was all you? What po po were you wearing uh, that night? It was um, a blue shirt, jeans like these. What were they? Are they at your house? Or? Yeah. See? And the blue shirt, what is it? Like a t-shirt? Yeah, t-shirt. What, what does it have in the front? Uh, Express. Express? <coughs> Express little right here? Express big? EXP? Or what does it say? The whole thing. Okay. Oh, okay. It's blue? What's up with these scratches? All the palm trees. See up there. We're planting. Where is, where is that T-shirt at right now? In your house. In my apartment. Where, where at? We're gonna need to get it. Where is it? In the apartment. It's on my bed. On your bed. <laughs> and the jeans. Where are the jeans? They're also in the somewhere in the. On top of the bed. The T-shirts on top of the bed. And the jeans are Levi's. What what brand are? Uh, Express. Express. And the blue jeans. Mm -hmm. Now, the first time you went to, to Rick's house, how long ago was it? I don't remember. Three months. Okay. It was three months ago, so, I, so a while back. And then you were just there in the living room? You guys were just hanging out? Or you guys at the pool or where? Living room. Living room? So and you were there. Did you use the restroom there? At the Ricks? Yeah. When? The first time? The first time, yeah. Yeah, I you know, okay, the and every Because there was a party. But this time, you only came to the front and nowhere else? No. no I just stayed there. Okay. I, I just felt uncomfortable. Right. When did you take the go to some things? Uh, today. About what time? 
Was it when the police started looking? Like around 2.30. Well, that was like 3-something. How do you know it was around that time? How do I know? Okay. <laughs> I thought you may have made a call or somebody had stopped you or you stopped an E and eight, I'm sorry, and it was that time. So you looked at it, and then that's more or less the time when you got rid of it. Were you very soft? Or was it? Yeah, I was probably soft. Have you told anybody about this? No. No. What do you think should happen? What do you think? What do you think should happen? Um, um, come on. <laughs> you, think she, you think you should get arrested or not? Her? Get arrested? You, you. Do I think I need to get arrested? Uh, you think you should get arrested? What? The way the law works. <laughs> you think she should get arrested? No. Huh? No. Where did you buy the three the gun? Uh, it's cruises. Or uh, the gun shop. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Senator Sala. I mean, uh, Las Cruces Motorsports. Las Cruces Motorsports. When did you buy? When? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember. But you've pawned that gun before, right? Yeah. Okay. That was last year, right? 2015. When I pawned it? Mm -hmm. Uh, recently, found it recently. Uh, I don't remember the date. Within this year? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, okay. When you carry it in your truck, what do you put it in? And it's case. CD case? It's, what is the CD? The, like the zipper one? Yeah. 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 Was well, that case still in the truck? No. No? You threw it away or? Yeah. With the at the at the digit. Let's see, did you put it in the case, zip it up, and dispose of it like that, or how? Mm, I, I threw the the gun in the, the case separate. Okay, separately. And you just threw it, or did you bury it, or or? I kind of buried it. Never. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So you're gonna know exactly where it's at right now, right? What color is it? Okay. It's all black. You are gonna you know where it's at? Uh, kind of fun. That's part two. We'll go look for right now. Let me get you some you need some more water? Right now it is no. ten fifty-five. We'll take another break. Let me make sure I got everything I need and then that way we can start setting up so we can go out there, okay?
Hey, um, I'm gonna um, go to the yeah. phone. Um, I'm gonna ask you for uh, consent to get your uh, buckle swabs. What that is is just uh, DNA. That's all. Do I have your consent to do that? Okay. Right now, my partner will bring you a form for you to sign. Uh, this just consent to get a, um, a buckle swab, which is just a saliva sign. Yeah. Okay. So you want some more water, bud? You sure? Yeah. All right. Right now, when the, when we go look for the for the gun, um, are you hungry? I'm okay. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'll get you a burger if you want on the way. If you change your mind. All right. I already called him. This is for the consent. Yeah. 